Hey everybody, how's it going? Let's talk about your home recording studio. Today let's go over the difference between stereo and mono. When we're talking about inputs going into our audio interface and we're talking about the track that we, re we record and when we're talking about how we hear it back. I, I see confusion about this a lot, so hopefully I can help clear up a couple things here. So really the, the first thing to kind of keep in mind here is we have two ears and we as humans here in stereo. Each of our two ears receives slightly different information about the world around us at the same time, and it gives us a little bit of um, a feeling of placement, a feeling of uh, where things are happening around us, uh, and, a, and a feeling of, of our place in an environment, uh, in an acoustic environment. So you can kind of imagine why uh, we live in kind of a stereo world. You know, when we wear earbuds or headphones, we have one for each ear. Uh, when we listen to a stereo system, uh, we have a speaker, uh, a left and a right speaker. Um, so you, you, you can kind of imagine that it's, it's important to somebody that's working in audio to be able to uh, uh, play with that a little bit and, and put things to, to one side or put things to the other side, put things uh, right in the middle. Um, it, it, you can kind of create a soundscape with it. But I see a lot of confusion when people want to record a, a mono instrument like, like a single guitar, a single voice, a single bass guitar, and the way they have things set up, they only hear it, uh, when they play it back, they only hear it out of one ear and not the other. You know, uh, uh, okay, okay, I, I understand, and I've, I've been through this myself, I've made these mistakes myself, so hopefully I can at least help clear this up a little bit. So I've got a, uh, I'm trying something new here, I've got a, uh, a whiteboard. Um, I'm gonna see if maybe a picture can be worth a thousand words. And of course, the video is worth about 30 pictures a second. Let's see, I, I can't draw very well, uh, but I can draw more quickly uh, on a whiteboard than I can on a computer, so I won't put you through much more of my um, uh, digital attempts to make illustrations. Okay, you have to keep in mind, when you're recording a single instrument, you want to record that single instrument as a mono track. Uh, when you create a new track in your DAW, you want to be sure to create that new track as a mono track, recording from only one input on your interface. And when you create just a mono track, uh, using the pan control, you can pan things around the stereo field. Now, now you might record it as a mono instrument, but in your DAW, you are creating uh, a, a stereo uh, track. You're creating a stereo mix. And so even though uh, you record a mono input, uh, you can use the pan control and you can pan it to your left and start to hear it more out of your left ear than out of your right ear. You can pan it to the right, start hearing it more out of your right ear than your left ear. You can pan it all the way uh, right or left and then you, you only hear it out of, that, out of that one ear or out of that one speaker. Um, so let's try an illustration here and let's see if we can make this make a little bit of sense. Okay, so let's imagine uh, we have an audio interface and it has two inputs and let's, let's uh, think of the, the back of this audio interface and we have two outputs. Let's, th let's just say we're, we're listening through a pair of speakers. Okay, so we've got a, a left and a right output. Uh, let's plug our left output into our left speaker. Let's plug our right output into our right speaker. And now on our interface, on the inputs, we have uh, input one and input two. Let's say this is a two input, two output interface. Uh, and then over here, let's um, imagine our DAW software. Our computer monitor here, and we've got our our mixer window with our faders. Oh man, what an artist I am. Look out, Michelangelo. Okay, um, and here we have some tracks in our software. Let's say that you know, we got, you know, four tracks in our software. Great. Okay, we've got our tracks here. Uh, 
Now let's also imagine for each track, we have a pan control. And we'll imagine that as the notch on the pan control. It's panned 12 o'clock. Uh, 12 o'clock in the world of panning means that we're, we're panned center. Uh, anything that is panned center, you're going to hear it equally out of both speakers. It's not going to be louder in one speaker versus the other. Okay, so let's say that we create a single track. And we make that track a stereo track. All right. And we set its um, input source as, and, and since this is a stereo track, it's going to want two inputs as its source. It's going to want a left and a right. So we select uh, inputs one and two as our, as our inputs here. I hope I'm not drawing too small here. Hopefully when I look at this after I record it, um, hopefully this is large enough to actually see when I render it. Okay, so now let's say that we plug a, I'm gonna use red here. <clears throat> let's say that we plug a microphone into input number one. Um, Oh yeah, oh, this is beautiful. Look at that beautiful microphone. I am just a fantastic artist, yay. Okay, uh, and now, and let's say we don't plug anything into input number two. Now we hit record in our DAW and what this one track is gonna want is, is two separate uh, inputs of a, of a left and right. So. Uh, we'll kind of divide this track in half. Uh, kind of imagine that as our timeline in our DAW. So what we're going to record, since we've told this for, for left and right, um, we want inputs one and two. We've only got something plugged into input number one. So when we hit record, only on the left-hand side are we going to get any information on our recorded track. And then when we play that back, we're only going to hear it out of the left-hand side of our uh, speaker system or of our headphones or whatever. Okay, so let's say that we plug in a, uh, whoops, let's say that we plug in a second microphone. And we plug him into input number two. Oh yeah, let's make him fancy. Oh, we give him a grill, we give him, oh, that's just terrific. Okay, so we plug him into input number two. Okay, if we record both these at the same time, then, okay, uh, input number one is our left-hand side. Input number two is our right-hand side, so we'll actually get some information on the other side of this track when we record it. And when we play this back, all we're going to hear is input number two out of the right-hand side. So anybody that's, that, that's struggling to uh, uh, wonder why you're, you're only getting, um, you're only hearing yourself out of the left or the right, uh, this is probably why. Uh, because in your DAW, uh, most likely your track that you set up is set up uh, expecting a stereo input and you're not giving it a stereo input. You're, you know, if you're just giving it one uh, signal, one microphone or one guitar or one whatever, uh, you're only using one input, then you're only gonna record to one side of a stereo track and you're only gonna hear one side out of that stereo track. Okay, now let's say we wanna record two separate mono tracks. Uh, okay, so we've got, uh, we've got one microphone plugged into input number one. We've got one microphone plugged into input number two. Oh yeah, we give them a, okay, great. Um, <laughs> okay, and so here in our, in our DAW software, we want to say, okay, track number one, let's make you a mono track. And I only want your input to come from input number one. One. 
In track number two, I want you to be a mono track, and I only want your input to come from input number two. Okay, so we hit record, and track number one is entirely devoted to capturing what happened on input number one. And uh, track number two here is devoted entirely to what happened on input number two. Those are some fancy waveforms there. Okay, so we play this back. What do we hear? Well, all of our pan controls are center on all of our tracks. So we hear out of the left side, we hear track number one, input number one. And on the right side, we also hear what we recorded from input number one. And out of the left side, uh, we also hear what we recorded from input number two. And out of the right side, we also hear what we recorded from input number two. Now this is where panning really comes into it, where you start using your pan controls. Now let's say that you pan track number one all the way left. What that means is that when we play it back, now we don't hear track one out of the right hand speaker or your headphone or whatever at all. But track number two is still panned center, so we hear track number two out of left and right equally. Track number one, we've panned all the way left, so we're only hearing it out of the left side and not at all out of the right side. Okay, now let's say that we pan uh, track number two all the way right. Okay, well that means now track number two is not going to come out of the left speaker at all. So now we have uh, track number one coming out entirely out of the left speaker, track number two coming out entirely out of the right speaker. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of a way to, to kind of visualize what you're doing when you're making mono tracks, stereo tracks, uh, when you're using panning uh, left and right, uh, and, and why you're hearing what you're hearing. I, I mean, that this is, this is something that, that I know a lot of people struggle with when you encounter it for the first time. Uh, and it's, uh, when you're first starting out, it's really hard to make sense out of why you're only hearing yourself out of the left or only hearing yourself out of the right. Um, hopefully this gives you a good way to kind of visualize it. Uh, I know I'm no artist here, um, but hopefully this has been at least a little bit of help to you. And I hope this comes in handy, giving you the, the knowledge you need to be able to get some of your first projects set up correctly, uh, recorded correctly, and to start uh, using panning, to, to start panning things around the, the, uh, the stereo field whenever you're uh, just recording a single mono input.